In this segment, we'll be discussing how to create channel lists for public safety grid testing. We do want to make sure that we are connected to our scanner through Bluetooth. And if we're going to be setting up channels for P25, we just want to make sure that the, under protocol, we have the P25 selection highlighted. And under band, we're going to click on the plus sign. Now, it asks if we want uniform or non-uniform. Everything today in public safety is pretty much non-uniform. But just to show you what the uniform does, this allows me to um, pick my start channel center frequency. So let's say if I make this 850 megahertz, it changes channel 1 to 850 megahertz. It keeps my channel bandwidth at 12.5 kilohertz. But here I can adjust the spacing. So if these are spaced 50 kilohertz apart, it automatically updates all my channels for a channel list of over 2,500 channels. No one really has that many frequencies to test today, and that's why the uniform is rarely used. So we're going to highlight a P25 protocol, click on the plus sign, non-uniform. Our bandwidth is going to stay at 12.5 kilohertz. I'm going to start with channel one. And where it says channel center frequency, I tap that, and that becomes an editable item. And now I can place my frequencies in here. So I'm going to put a few of them in. I'm going to make sure I hit add. Change that to channel number two. Click on the center frequency. And then add in my next frequency. Number 75. Then I'm going to add one more. As you can see, this method isn't too terribly bad if you only have to enter a few frequencies. But what if I had a lot of frequencies I wanted to enter? Well, there's another way we can do that. I'll show you in just a second. So once I have all these channels in there, I'm going to save these. And I'm going to call this my P25 list. Now, if I have other types of systems I want to test, such as an EDAX or an older analog system, we can set them up under custom channel power. We'll just highlight that. Click on the plus sign. Same options, uniform or non-uniform. And we can pick the wide band of the scanner. That goes from 10 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. If you do not have that option, you can also select the public safety band, which is 140 to 990 megahertz. Now here you can put in any frequency that you wish. But what if I have a lot of channels? Well, I can create a spreadsheet. All I need for a header is channel and frequency. I can paste all my frequencies in, increment the channel numbers, save this as a comma separated file. And then once I have that, I can copy this And I'm going to take it to my tablet. I'm going to put this on the Seahawk touch folder into a folder called custom channels. I'm going to paste that in there. And what this allows us to do is import a channel list. So when you do have a lot of frequencies, it's a little easier than keying them in one at a time. And I'm just going to call this Orange County. That's how we create P25 channel list as well as anything that's custom channel. The DMR option operates the same way. You just click on the plus sign, non-uniform, and then you can put in a frequency from 10 megahertz up to 1 gigahertz. That concludes the segment on adding channels.